You know, uh, I think like most guys, I didn't sit around and dream about the day I would become a father. So when my first son was born, it was so surprising to me because something uh, within me became unlocked and it was something so profound. It was this instant profound love for my son and it was shocking to me. I thought, you know, I, I still wonder to this day, where does that come from? And you know, we are creatures. God created us and God creates his creatures with an instinct for love and care for their young. That's normal, you know, that's normal mammals. Um, and yet, the, the level of care that human beings exhibit, the length of care, the level of care for their offspring is extraordinary. The love for your child that you have is a profound gift, and that child is a profound gift, but that comes with a lot of risk, because that means that, that great love means great treasure, and that great, great treasure is wrapped up in something that's very fragile. And not only that, but you can't control it, and also you can't keep it under lock and key. So in the persecuted world, oftentimes kids are taken from parents for various reasons. It's a very common occurrence in Pakistan and other very fundamentalist Muslim countries for girls to be taken. And what happens is the girl is abducted and she is uh, drugged and repeatedly raped. Even if the family knows who has her, nothing can be done. She's gone forever. And so this happens all the time. And, and uh, you know, I was just thinking on, on Father's Day, I was thinking of a specific case last year, and that was Huma. And Huma was a 15-year-old girl uh, in Pakistan, a Christian family, great Christian family. And there was a Muslim man who was uh, who served the family, and he actually abducted her. This case was such a heartbreak because we really thought that we had a chance with this one. Most of them, you can't get them back, and it's really frustrating. The whole system is set against you, the courts, the police, everything. But this one, uh, the, the Pakistani government was involved, where the pro a prosecutor got involved and said, hey, she was abducted. This is not a legal marriage. She needs to be returned. But the police didn't do anything. And, but that's Pakistan. And then we're doing petitions. We're talking to people on Capitol Hill to apply pressure. We're doing name and shame articles, petition, et cetera, et cetera. So again, there was, this was, it was high pressure and really a heartbreaker because we thought we might get her back. And that never happened. It hasn't happened at least to date. And, but during, during the height of the case, we were in Pakistan and we sat down with Huma's father. There were two notes really that really stood out from her father. And one was obviously the, the exhaustion and the profound grief that he was going through, uh, as you would expect. But he said that I will never give up. I will never give up looking for my daughter and to free her from the hell that she is in. And that, that was the, the last comment he had for us. Now that spirit, that spirit within him, that spirit of protection and care and wanting to rescue, that, that really reflects on the Father's heart. It really made me think on this Father's Day about how the Father's heart is like that. And you know, you are continually getting messages from the Father of lies. And Satan's always in your head and he's always whispering to you. And he tells you that you're forgotten and that you are alone and that you are unloved. But those are just lies. Uh, but those lies are especially potent when you're exhausted after you've done something dumb, uh, in high stress, and when your life is in high stress, all those messages get louder and louder and kind of the, the light kind of dims down and things get blacker and that's kind of all you pay attention to. And yet I got to say that is not the heart of the Father. The heart of the Father is the, is the God that leaves the 99. This is what he says, I will leave the 99. I don't abandon them. But I will leave them, I will go out into the wilderness, into danger, to capture that one that is lost, that is vulnerable uh, to attack. And that, that one is you. So remember the words of whom is Father, I will never give up. And that reflection on the Father's heart, I will never give up, he'll never leave you. And I'm going to run a couple verses, and I just want you to dwell on these and meditate on these. And think about who the Father is. This is a collection of different uh, verses.
Hey guys, finally, one note, please keep uh, Huma's parents, his father and mother in prayer, as well as Huma herself. Uh, she has not been recovered, and it's a real heartbreak of a case, and the, the, the Lord's probably not done yet. So just uh, keep them in prayer, would you please? And thank you for caring for the persecuted.